Hey guys, I hope you're all doing well. So in today's video, I wanted to run through all the new pieces in my capsule wardrobe. So if you're new to my channel, welcome. I'm so happy to have you here. My name is Shannon and I like to talk all things sustainable fashion. I also love organization and planning. And of course, I love vintage designer handbags. So they're usually the topics that I'm talking about. But if you've watched any of my other videos, you would know I have a pretty solid capsule wardrobe. So I often talk about the same pieces over and over again, but some items really do change. And the past couple of months, I've had a major change with my wardrobe. And I think that's because it's the new year. I was kind of like, okay, what new pieces do I want to add? What don't I wear as much anymore? And I've just had a huge wardrobe reset really. And I did do a video on that. I did a little video on how I like to plan before actually making any purchases. I went through my wish list and over the past few months I've been going through and ticking things off my wish list and purchasing items that I felt were missing from my wardrobe. So as you can see there are summer items, there are winter items. So for me it doesn't really matter about the seasons because I like to buy things, um, have a good list and then purchase them as they pop up because I don't know if you guys experience this but whenever I am really searching for an item I can never find it and then right when I stop looking and I no longer really need it, it pops up and it happens to me a lot during winter when I am scrambling trying to find particular knitwear or blazers or jackets, I can never find them but I'm noticing it is so hot but the best winter clothes are popping up on Depop and that's probably because people are decluttering, getting rid of things that they didn't wear the previous winter so now is the best time. Or just always keep that in mind, try and shop for the opposite season because I find that's when you get the best bargains. You've probably also noticed that I have a lot of neutral colours and that just works for me. Obviously your capsule wardrobe is completely up to you depending on your climate, what um, clothing you like to wear, depending on your personal style, what you find comfortable, depending on your body shape. So many things come into it and no one's capsule wardrobe is the same and that's the biggest thing that I think you have to take into consideration is that you can watch other people's videos and capsule wardrobe kind of tips and tricks for inspiration but if you find that you don't like wearing basic t-shirts then maybe you would prefer a singlet or a crop top or you just have to try and work out what works for you but for me personally a neutral color palette works really well and I find that I can pretty much wear everything with everything because I've stuck within a certain uh, a particular color palette. I am so sick of buying things and then receiving them and being like it goes with nothing in my wardrobe um, because items are really hard to get rid of and even though I have been selling on Depop for a really long time and I usually like to stick to brands because they're easy to sell. Sometimes it doesn't matter how expensive the item is, how good the brand is, how good the quality is, they can still be hard to sell. So you just always have to keep that in the back of your mind. So half of these items I purchased brand new from the store and the other half I purchased from Depop. Depop is like my absolute favourite place and a lot of the items that I purchased from the store I was already looking for on Depop and if I'd looked for over a month and I just could not come across it, that's when I would go into the store and actually purchase it. But I always look at Depop first. I'm just going to go in no particular order and just start from this side and work my way down and talk a little bit about the item, why I purchased it and where I bought it from. So the first item I got is a hat. Now my friend owns a business and she has these beautiful hats that look very similar to this and I have been wearing it religiously and I just got to a point where I was wearing it so much that it got quite dirty because I usually ran in it um, so there was a lot of sweat and sunscreen and zinc and stuff on it. So anyway that is my total running hat and I love it but I also wanted one that if I was wearing active wear and I was running errands I'd be able to just throw it on and it just be a little bit um, nicer. So this one here is from Country Road. I actually bought it on Depop. So again, I was like, okay, I need a Country Road hat. I looked it up on Depop first before I went directly to Country Road and I found one. If someone received this for Christmas, it still had the tags on, it had the cardboard in the middle, it was completely brand new and I ended up getting it for about $20 and I'm pretty sure they retail for about double that price plus the shipping if I had ordered online. So I ended up getting this on Depop. I absolutely love it. It's super cute. It goes with everything. This color's great. It really does go with everything that I already wear. So I absolutely love this hat. The next item I want to talk about are these shoes. These are the only shoes that I've bought 
so far in the past couple of months and these are actually from the chemist ryan got me onto them he did his research he was like oh i really want some of those slides that have the massage kind of on the bottom and we have started to wear slides around the house so that way when we come onto the carpet we take them off because we find we recently got new carpet and it's quite a light color and you can see dirt so easily so we've started to wear slides everywhere around the house plus i thought they actually looked really nice with some of my clothes sorry there's a little bit of grass in there because i wore them camping and i actually thought they looked really cool um with a plain t-shirt and some denim shorts and a handbag they are kind of like they have the same kind of vibe as Birkenstocks, but something a little bit different. So yeah, I really like the color of them. I've been wearing them so much. Like I said, I took them camping the other day. I've worn them to do the groceries. And they really have kind of just replaced my Birkenstocks because those got to a point where I had to get rid of them. I wore them so much. And yeah, I really, really like these. I'll link them below. So the next piece that I added to my wardrobe is a very casual piece. And these are a pair of those tracksuit kind of shorts in this creamy kind of color. Now, I wanted a pair of these for ages. I knew I I would absolutely live in them. I'm such a homebody so these kind of clothes I pretty much wear majority of the time and I was really wanting a pair from Girl of News because I love Gemma Louise Miles here on YouTube and her brand does some really beautiful ones but when I looked into the shipping and the, oh, there was just a lot of things that went into it because they came from the UK and just as I was kind of looking at them I popped into Cotton On just to have a browse and they had these there for, I think these were like $20. So I ended up picking them up and I know they're fast fashion and I really try not to buy that kind of stuff, but I also know that I'm going to wear them a lot. So I really like these, they're very affordable and I love anything that if I need to pop out, run some errands, post office, groceries, anything like that, these you can kind of get away with and they don't look too underdressed and since I purchased them I've been wearing them non-stop like the moment they go through the wash I'm missing them so I absolutely love these now the next item you've probably already seen but I purchased this at the very end of November before we went to Melbourne and it is this patent black skirt now it's not something that I would generally reach for but it does really go with my wardrobe I have a pair of patent black boots and they go with everything so I know that this kind of style goes with my wardrobe and I wanted something that if I popped it on with a plain top even like this top here that I'm wearing and a blazer I could head out to dinner with some little heels or something because where I live it's a very coastal town very casual we do not dress up much so something like this can really elevate an outfit quite easily so I came across this on Depop the brand is L'Academy Los Angeles and I actually looked it up and it's quite an expensive brand so I found this on there apparently it is leather but it's been coated with like a patent over top so not only does patent go really well in my wardrobe but I came across a photo on Instagram from Ruby Holly I'll insert if I can find it she was wearing an all black outfit with a skirt like this and I was straight away like yup I need it because sometimes it's not until you see someone style it that you it really helps you make that decision because sometimes I think of stuff like this and I'm like oh does it really go like I don't know but when I see someone style it really well I'm like okay yeah the next item is another skirt and this one's quite recent only a couple of weeks ago and I've already washed it twice because I've been wearing it so much and that is a long black denim skirt it does have a little um, slit kind of at the front there and this is from the brand mango um, they have mango on the iconic so this was on sale and I've been wanting a black long skirt for a really long time because I wear black denim jeans all the time same with my black denim shorts I've got these in black and yeah I wear them all the time so I purchased this I did purchase it in a size 8 and I I go between 6 and 8 and so it's very comfy because it has a little bit of room and my legs are free um, yeah and it's nice and comfy around the waist so I absolutely love this I am excited to style it a little bit more I haven't really gotten into the styling as much as I'd like to but I can already see that this is going to be in my wardrobe for quite some time the next item is a Depop purchase and this is a beautiful knit Beckenbridge dress now the reason why I wanted this is because I have a beautiful um, knit Beckenbridge dress but a maxi one and it goes all the way to the floor and it's a beautiful green kind of color and it's very comfortable and I find it can be dressed up and dressed down so I was wearing that quite a fair bit over the Christmas holidays 
and then I knew that Beckenbridge did some shorter versions. So I jumped onto Depop and I came across this one. I think I got it for about $80, but it was pretty much brand new. And yeah, it's just such a great staple. And I they did have a lot of different colors on Depop, so um, make sure you check it out. But I opted for this color because again, it's like that brown kind of neutral color and it goes with black, it goes with white. It really does go with everything else in my wardrobe. So I've been living in this. The straps were quite long. I ended up taking them up. Um, and that's another thing you have to think about when you're creating your capsule wardrobe is alterations. If either altering clothes you already own or if you receive an item and it's just not sitting quite right, start to look at it and think about ways that you may be able to alter it. I alter a lot of my clothes with a little sewing kit that you can buy from your local grocery store. So. Yeah, I absolutely love this and altering it completely changed the game for me. The next two pieces are exactly the same but in different colour and these are Cos Basic Tees. Now guys, I just wanted to take a moment to shout out that I found the perfect basic tee. If you are someone who really wants to get into this basic tee kind of vibe because you see that in every capsule wardrobe video, I promise you, try the ones from Cos. I'll link them below. I've linked them on my website. This is not sponsored, I wish. Um, but honestly, I tried them on and there is no looking back. I used to own um, a bunch of Uniqlo ones, but these are so much better. And I'm yet to purchase it in white. They were out of stock when I bought these ones. So on my wish list currently is a white one of these. But navy, I have been wearing more than I ever thought I would. Um, but yeah, guys, these are the per perfect basic tees and I was due for some new ones because my Uniqlo ones were getting quite faded. Now for another deep pop purchase. I wanted a white blouse for the longest time because the one I already had, I had used for years. It was a handy down from my grandma actually. It was quite a similar style to this, but it was going discolored. The um, stitching on the back had come undone. I had re-sewn it a couple of times and the actual fabric itself had just been so worn that that's why it kept kind of ripping. So I ended up getting rid of that one. It wasn't even worth donating because it was quite ruined. So I ended up throwing that one in the bin. Um, and yeah, I was on the hunt for another one just like it because I knew that I wore that style a lot. I ended up purchasing it and guys, this is such a beautiful cut. Um, it's such a nice soft sort of fabric. It does need to be ironed if it's not hung up. But if you hang it up like this after it's been washed, it straightens out quite nicely. And it's got these beautiful longer cuffs. And then also the slit up the side goes all the way up until kind of my bra line. So you can't see my bra, which is great, but from here down. So it looks really nice with high-waisted jeans, high-waisted shorts. And I find with this, I don't need to tuck it in at the front because you can kind of see all around because of those slits um, yeah there's no tucking in needed so I really do love long button-up shirts because I find them very versatile I can wear them over bikinis I can tie them I can tuck them um, you can do a lot with them and they're also really great throughout the year both summer and winter because they're quite lightweight you can roll up the sleeves sleeves through summer and then to work they're quite warm as well but it is just 100% flax linen and it's in this beautiful chocolate brown color and again I mean there's not much to say it's just a brown kind of linen this one I did buy brand new from a store called Gander they do have a lot of fast fashion styles but occasionally you can pick out something like this where it's 100% linen so I ended up purchasing purchasing this I think it was around $50 and I'm so glad I did I've been wearing it so much and I know when winter comes I'll be wearing it a lot because I wear a lot of dark colors throughout the winter so the next one is another Depop purchase and I was on the hunt for a leather jacket throughout the last winter but I could never find one for a price that I was willing to pay and I did want 100% leather um, because when I purchase something a bulky item like that I want it to be in my wardrobe for quite a long time so I was still on the hunt even though it's so hot and I can't even think about wearing a blazer uh, this one popped up so it is 100% real leather it is a brown chocolate chocolate leather and when I saw it come up the shape is exactly what I was looking for it's very much a blazer rather than like a um, leather kind of jacket biker style it's a little more oversized so I would say this is probably like 
equivalent to a women's size 12 and I'm generally a size 8 but I like to upsize when it comes to outerwear and I opted for the chocolate rather than the black because I thought I wear a lot of black I wear a lot of neutral colors and jackets like this they're a real statement piece so I thought you know what if I wear really basic colors and throw this on over the top um, that's my outfit done. I almost forgot to mention the brand is Verapel um, and it's made in Italy. I did search this brand and they do all Italian leather kind of items. So the next item is another blazer and I do have my beautiful YSL vintage blazer. It is the perfect size for me. It's a size 8 so it definitely has that more fitted look. So when I'm wearing little dresses and stuff like that it looks really nice. But I was looking for more of an oversized boyfriend kind of style blazer and something a little more casual. So I came across this one on Depop. I think I paid around $150 because it still had the tags on it and the brand is Friend of Audrey. So I had never seen this brand before but I looked at their website, they have beautiful quality clothing and this jacket I believe is worth around $400. So I ended up purchasing it and the thing that I really like about this is that it's quite fitted up top, so it's quite flattering for my frame but it still has the relaxed boyfriend style. It's hard to explain but they've kind of kept all up here a size 8 but then when they come around the waist and this part here, it's very oversized. So I absolutely love this. I bought it right before I went to Melbourne. I wore it so much, it was so comfortable. And I can tell that this is probably going to be my most worn black blazer in my wardrobe over my YSL one. Because like I said, the YSL one is definitely more of a dressy one, something that I would wear with heels and a little dress. But generally, most of the time, I'm wearing t-shirts and jeans. So this one goes really, really well. And the last piece that's recently been added to my capsule wardrobe is this big, puffer jacket. Now Ryan and I have booked a trip to New Zealand for the end of July and we're going on a snowboarding trip. We're so excited and when I was going through and decluttering my wardrobe I do have a lot of snow jackets because I did live in Canada for quite some time so but I went through them all. A lot of them were mouldy and when I lived over there you wore them every day so they were very very well worn. I ended up jumping onto ASOS and purchasing this and there are down jackets or puffer jackets everywhere so it's pretty much like you just have to try and find the color that you want and I came across this color it's called mushroom and it's the, it's the exact color that I was looking for because I find it goes really really well it's similar to the Beck and Bridge dress it's actually a very similar kind of color and I feel as though it's going to go with my black jeans um, my blue jeans and when I am in New Zealand it's just going to add something different. So it's quite a large oversized um, puffer jacket. I believe I sized up in this. Oh no, I went a size 8. I think it's more of just an oversized um, kind of style anyway. It does have a hood and you can cinch it in at the waist if you would like. I probably won't wear it like that but I've tried this on. It's very very warm so really really love that and the brand is Topshop. It's a Topshop one. So they are all the pieces that I've recently added to my capsule wardrobe and they have created so many outfits. It's crazy what a couple of items can do to your existing wardrobe. Um, if you followed me all of last year and watched my videos, you would know that I tend to do a capsule wardrobe related video every few months. And this is definitely like the first one for 2023, but I tend to do an updated video every few months and let you guys know anything that I've recently purchased. If you did like this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. It helps me out more than you know and let me know in the comments below if you uh, already have a capsule wardrobe or if you're starting your journey this year I would love to know anyway guys I hope to see you in my next video I'm pretty much uploading a video twice a week at the moment sometimes once a week it really depends on how work and life is going but yeah I have a lot more content coming so I'm super excited for 2023 and I'll catch you guys in my next video bye guys